Oh. <laughs> oh, I can almost do the whole half pipe. Oh, oh there's dude is dead up there. That one guy is like his legs are going like inside of himself or something. Oh, the humanity. Oh, yeah, that's probably why the cops are on me. <laughs> but anyway, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glitch Kano here today to play some more Halo. F not Halo. I'm just so used to playing Halo. <laughs> I would almost want to do that again, but that intro is just so perfect. Other than I'm bad at thinking. For obvious reasons, because uh, cops and also uh, I haven't been having time to play games in a while. Other than playing Halo, which is obvious. But yeah, GTA 5, I'm back. I'm like right after where I like auto saved at that one portion. Not auto saved, but you know, quick save. Yeah, because there's a thing on your phone. And I have a lot of like messages in the game, but yeah, it looks like Franklin doesn't really have much to do, actually. So that's why he's just going to be messing around and uh, making the cops drawn to him. So then whenever Michael goes to Solomon, and uh, sings his songs of love and so on because he really loves everything dealing with movies and might and magic. Isn't that something dealing with like heroes? I don't, yeah, I think that is. Heroes of might and magic. Oh! But yeah, I think I'm just gonna straight up just as soon as Franklin gets up. Get up, get up so I can fight. And just cause more traffic disruptions. It's gonna have to stand right here to make everybody more, much more angry, and whatever, like, I might even be close to there by, with Michael, so that might be the best thing of all. I just drive over and see uh, Franklin standing in the middle of the road, just like, oh, hello, I, this is my hobby that I do in my spare time. I, I dress up as little Mac and uh, cause chaos and say, hey, it's... It's because of the video game character, Punch-Out is just so violent of a game that I, I just had to amazing. do things. Whatever, but Michael's looking very trendy today. Especially when he stands, like, with his crotch yes. right next to a hipster, but... Yes. Um... Uh, oh. oh yeah! Oh! I think I might need to do the uh, Strangers and Freaks thing first. For Michael, because... Let's see, where is this thing? But I remember... Yeah, it's like out in the middle of nowhere. Because Trevor bought this thing, because he just... Trevor is a multi-millionaire that he just pretends that he uh, isn't. That's why he likes to live in Sandy Shores and do, do all that stuff. But, but, he, he has a lot of money. It's probably because he just, like, that is literally why, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm going towards that direction. I don't know if I'll try to... I think I probably should get a cab. Because that's just way too far. And I don't want to get too far to not have a car even though I won't have a car if I'm down there but whatever you get the point taxi 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 I know that I'm sweating a lot now look at look at that but I need your help hello hey I'm just saying hello to this random woman on the street being really creepy uh oh ho 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 man she's like an assassin ninja she just like did a flip, and then now she just keeps walking. Cause that's just a normal everyday thing that a person like her does. God, I'm not sure what to say about that. Yeah, and this one guy's really angry at me. <laughs> it, well, not anymore, but still, taxis, 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 nowhere. Please let me have some drinks. I would just need to go to this bar place first, though. There's a lot of really fancy vehicles around here, but like. That's the main thing that I have issues with, it's just like, always cabs. Which, like, this is the direct opposite. I don't know if it would be like that in real life, if it's just like having not too many cabs. Also doing this in real life. You just go and rub yourself all over some random person's vehicle. Oh! Cab! Oh, uh, I don't remember which button I'm supposed to press to get in, I think it's just one Y. Not holding Y. Hey, to the waypoint! And that, well, by that I mean uh, go to the online Halo Waypoint service. It's, it's pretty legit. You get a lot of credits there for Halo, because that's apparently what I like to talk about a lot, because that's what I, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, brother, here we are. Oh, man! I think I might need to do this. Do I have a suppressor? Yes, I do. 
do they notice a big flashing light on them? See, if this was a real seagull, you'd think that it would have, like, ran away by now, even though, like, seagulls are usually trained to be so very happy towards humans. Other than they want to eat your, like, fries and sun... Not sun days. Well, I guess you could have a Sunday on the beach. But... Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that, like... There's just a seagull just sitting around, hanging around with me. Hmm... I think- OH NO! I didn't mean to go off that way! <laughs> I guess that still worked, oh, man, though. That... Oh. Yeah, that mildly hurt. Because, uh, look, there's like no health actually went away from him. I thought he was gonna die. <laughs> it was so bad. Probably should put away my gun when I say hello to this guy. Me? Or woman. Hello. Hello. Well, Thank hello God you there. stopped. Uh, were you a fan of Frank Mathers? Frank Mathers? The TV guy who used to do the shows about space until he became obsessed with undersea exploration? No. It's not supposed a huge to be like, fan. uh. Frank was my husband. That director of Titanic, I forget his name me. always. Not a huge fan as much as a fanatic. He was a cruel and heartless man. Well, like I said, I was not a huge fan. But I loved him. S Didn't he leave his sick wife and five kids to run off with you? We loved each other. I'm sure he did. And I'm penniless now, more or, or less. Well, Frank's submarine broke apart while he was trying to save the San Andreas White Shark. But his body was never found. You know, so you're saying he just thought left someone you. tampered with the airlocks. That's an outright lie. That was never proven. See, he's, he's, never, he's not died. Frank he loved did not me, die at all. Why we invested so much money in life insurance. If we could just prove that Frank was dead. So and let's put the a body in the ocean then. Tampered with, I would sleep so much. Easier. Oh, so we're not gonna fake it. I bet you would. <laughs> or we could just fake I'll it for it her. I'll make it very worth your while. Hmm. Guess I could take a look. You said that you're penniless. That's not. That's not a thing then. You. You clearly have a lot more money, or she's meeting it in a different way, which I think Michael will take either one, and and both both at the same time actually. <laughs> just like okay, give me this money uh, case while you. Uh, just feel around in my money case, which is my pants. Um. So. Was that just, like, it, though? Because, I mean, I don't think that there's... Or am I just supposed to, like, do little missions? She just, like, unlocked these little things. The nearest area where submarine pieces can be found. Okay, you're supposed to find... Hmm. So I guess, yeah, that is probably just, like... Did I just... I think I might have just hit a seagull out of the air with a boat. <laughs> wow. Okay. But... Oh man, a dinghy's actually really good in this game. So much better than in GTA 4 where dinghies were like the worst water vehicle that have ever lived. Which they don't really ever live because they're kind of boats. But... They, they had some mechanical... Oh! Living... Pieces there. Every once in a while. They're like those robots in uh, Doctor Who. Just, just pretend this all makes sense. But yeah, it doesn't really seem like there's anything around out here other than just like crazy stunts, which I'm happy with. Whoa! Because <laughs> that's at least fun for me. Crazy stunts <coughs> and uh, dying voices right there. I need to clear my throat, <clears throat> probably more. But yeah, and killing seals by accident. Oh, come on. I want to... Oh, that's what I need to do. Is I just need to flip this thing upside down completely. Which I think I'm just going to do that. But yeah, this submarine place is actually what uh, Trevor owns anyway. Oh. Wow, this thing just like has... Some sort of buoyancy device. Well, not that, but you know, it, it, it keeps itself upright like a cat that's falling through the air. Oh, no. What? No way. So, getting out of a dinghy gives you, like, scuba gear? That's really useful. So now I can just, like, swim around out here? Oh, man. Okay, well, <clears throat> I think I'll need to do this at some point, but probably not today. And also, does, does this have unlimited air for scuba? 
That's the biggest question here. Because... Oh. Okay, that's nothing. Because <laughs> if you do have unlimited air, then that's, like, really good. Really, really good. Also, does this scuba gear keep on me if I don't go back to the boat? So I'm just like, yeah. That was, that was very nice of you to lend me your scuba gear, but I... I have a breathing problem, so I'm gonna keep this stuff on. Oh, okay, maybe not. What, what is this marker on my map telling me? Is it supposed to say, like, you are on a mission? No, you're not. At the same time. But, yeah, I, uh, Franklin, not Franklin. Franklin might actually have a breathing problem considering, like, all the, uh, illegal drugs. Well, yeah, it is still legal in this place. All of the illegal things that he's smoking. Compared to, uh, Michael here, he's just old. He's just old and he needs his breathing devices. But, looks like I might need to take another taxi back then. If only that one guy would have just stayed here and I could have been like, yeah, so, uh, guy, could you please just stick around just in case I made a trip out here for nothing? Whoa! Is that a, a wild boar? That's, that's like a thing? And also it has physics too. After it's dead. Well, I guess it probably should, but I mean... There's always an off chance that it doesn't have physics anymore. Because once you're dead, you can't do... Uh, physics equations. Unless you're, like, the ghost of... Like, Einstein or something, I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Even though I couldn't splatter that deer, that was pretty impressive, to say the least. I still was able to, like... Do a jump over top of him. Cause that could be like a sport in the Olympics. Like, whatever you do, do not kill this deer. We ran we don't have very many deer to spare, so don't kill them. We just want to jump over top of them. And the higher you jump over them, the the better the stunts and so on. Yeah, and so on and so forth. Is that a taxi? I don't. I really doubt that, that it is. No, it's just like a station wagon. This is just the way I need to drive down the road, is in between- Ah! I think that guy's dead. <laughs> but in between vehicles. Waiting for a taxi, which is never going to come, so I have to phone him again. Yeah, can you send out a cab to me? On its way, sir. Yeah. Thanks could you send out a cab good, that man. is- You'll kind of know where I am based on the amount of carnage. Just drive past all of these vehicles, it's kind of illegal to do so, I would say. So you're driving on the shoulder of the road, and everybody that does that kind of is just a dick. But, um, y you can do it. I, I believe in you, taxi. Or you can come from the other direction, which is, uh, much better. I probably shouldn't be walking on top of him. Just like, oh man, I shouldn't have came back and got this guy again. Uh, but yes, to Solomon. Uh, skip for an extra cost. I really, I have money to spare and money to, uh, give bears. Because they really like their toilet paper. I I don't know. But either way, I guess it, like this was a very good just like distraction from uh, right. things. <laughs> and just a mini like that was and it wasn't a Strangers and Freaks thing, but yeah. 